Hi everyone, this is Gian, and today I'm making a live video again. For today's topic, I'm just going to cover a basic intro to why do I make videos? What is the purpose of me making vlogs? But before I do that, I would like to share my empty bookshelf behind me. You know, most people you see with bookshelves behind them, they have a lot of books in them. But I don't think that is a bookshelf. I think that's a cupboard, it's supposed to be for clothes. But I'm going to use it anyway to make a point. Most people have their bookshelves covered full of books. My bookshelf is empty to show the stillness within. All right. And hopefully there is something in there as well. All right. So today I'm going to make a live stream video because as I said previously that it's much easier for me to just make a live stream video and then to directly upload it to Facebook because then I don't have to take it off my phone, uh, render it, make it a smaller file, then upload it because that takes a lot of time and sometimes my computer crashes. My computer is about eight years old, so it's not handling work that well anymore, especially if I'm working with uh, graphics or with video. And I have had people that ask me to send them my files and they can render videos for me or do stuff for me. But that is just as much uh, space, megabytes, that you have to send over the internet. So it's not a viable solution at the moment. Anyway, to get to the point today, I am going to share it, why do I make videos. And this is a very important question because we must always ask ourselves, why am I doing this? Now, in the past... Before I ever started walking a process with destiny, I did make videos. I made funny videos like uh, exercising on camera and making a joke out of it. Or I would collect 200 packets of cigarettes that's empty and I would pile them all up in my bed and I would jump into the cigarettes and I would come out the other side of the pile and be like, oh, I don't have cigarettes to smoke. And the reason I made videos like that was because obviously back in the day, this is in 2007, I was following the mainstream media. I was following what everyone is into, you know, jokes, funny stuff, entertaining things, things that's high energy, things that other people can bash on or, uh, you know, laugh at, things like that, which will get views, which will eventually get likes. And that was the reason why I used to make videos but my perspective on why i make videos have changed over the past nine years a lot this is something that me as my previous self as i can call it that back in the days would not have suggested doing where i talk about serious things where i talk about real things because that's not part of my personality it's not part of who i am in terms of being serious in terms of being real in terms of uh, giving a perspective that matters not just to myself, but how I can support and assist other people. So this is why I started making videos, because I realized how a little bit of knowledge and information that is practical, that makes sense, have changed my life. Even if it came from someone just giving me a few words in a moment, and I had a realization about myself, first and foremost, and then how to live that as myself within my world, within my life. Because it's small things. It's not big, massive things where you have to read thousands of books before you have an answer. It's someone giving you a new perspective on how you used to look at the world. And now you have a different perspective on how to look at the world. And that changes everything about yourself. It changes about uh, who you are and does what you do. So the reason for making videos is to see who can I share my perspectives with that I've learned, that I have gained, that I have gotten from someone else and has changed my life and hopefully touch someone else's life so that they can have a, a self-realization for themselves and look at the world differently because the main thing I realized for myself was that my perspective and point of view of reality is very limited. Uh, what do I mean by this? My point of view and my perspective literally can only be that which I have been educated with or where I have gotten information from. 
And if we look at ourselves and our realities, we see that as children, most of our knowledge information came from our parents, family members, school, and the very near part of our societies. So within this, your point of view and perspective on reality is literally that can and can only be that which you have received from your environment. Now, if you know the world is massive, never mind the universe. So the perspective of life is infinite if you look at existence. And yet we all live our lives in a very, very limited perspective because our perspective is literally just our education, the parenting we received when we were young, and maybe a book or two we read, or maybe the TV. And as you know, the TV and radio is mostly entertainment. So if our perspective on life are only limited to those things, we don't have a lot of knowledge of self necessarily. We don't have a lot of knowledge of uh, functioning within this reality. We have knowledge and information based on what mom and dad said, what the school said, what the TV said, what the radio said, what you saw here, what you saw there, but you don't actually develop critical thinking within yourself from a self-realization where you see with your real eyes. We learn to see reality through the eyes of those that has gone before us. So making videos in today's society, today's time that exists, where you have YouTube, you have Facebook, you have Instagram, you have so many platforms of social media, never mind your TV and DSTV and Netflix and name all of these programs, of all the movies and TV shows where the perspective is constantly entertainment driven. We can literally go and watch conspiracy videos for hours and hours. We can watch history or uh, UFO videos or archaeological finding videos for hours and hours because it's entertaining, because it's still something that's the whole time outside of ourselves. And this is one thing that I have to face for myself, uh, the fear of something that shows me who am I, what am I living, and how am I living that. And this changes the perspective of a person a lot, and that changes how you live, which actually matters. So what I would like to do is make videos that matter to people, that matter for people, because I have realized through my life how a change of perspective mattered and how I could place that in matter. Matter, in fact, it changed a lot of the facts that I thought were facts. So the reason I make videos, even though I feel uncomfortable sometimes, even though sometimes I'm nervous or I don't know what I'm going to talk about, even though I feel self-conscious, I breathe and I push through those points. So this is another aspect of why I make videos because I challenge myself a lot. Uh, not just challenging myself a lot in terms of speaking, but to be heard, to have comment, criticism from other people. And throughout my life, I've had a lot of haters, people that don't agree with my point of view, don't agree with my perspective. So I've done a lot of that. But I'm okay with that. You know, where they say haters are going to hate. Who I want to reach in my videos are those who can hear. Those who can see. And it's not to take my words word for word. It is to take what I say and to then look at it. And say, oh, this is what Gian said. Okay, cool. And now how are you assessing it? It's not, I'm not spoon feeding you something that you have to believe or you have to take it the way I say it, is to give you a perspective. A perspective is not the whole picture yet. It's like a piece of a puzzle. You know, you build a puzzle with many pieces until you have a full picture. But I'm also not saying there is a full picture yet with the things that I share. I am still finding my way in this life, in this world, and that is through understanding myself, first and foremost. Who am I? And that's the most important. So, yeah, today, just a quick uh, live video for everyone to understand why I am making videos and vlogs. Because a lot of people have asked me, Gian, this is not like you, this is strange, why are you making videos? Why are you sharing yourself? Why are you sharing intimate things? Why are you so open on videos, uh, on those things that you shouldn't be sharing? And you know what? I think it is the things that we should be sharing the most because the world is 
in chaos. And I'm not talking chaos just from war, and poverty, and environmental destruction. I'm talking in chaos in families. If you look at the family conflicts that exist, uh, never mind abuse that's physical, I mean emotional, mental. You're talking about the things that happen that no one sees about, that's not on the news ever, but it's happening constantly. You have husbands, wives, children, you have uh, grandparents, you have so many beings that sits in buildings, houses, every day that go either through mental, emotional, physical abuse through the people that they live with. So these are the things that we need to focus on because the family is the cornerstone of society. That is a well-known thing. And if we look at the world, the world is obviously then a reflection of the family structure and how and who people are within their own home. Because that's a reflection, as within, so without. And what do you know? The people you are most comfortable with in your life is the people that you can be yourself with the most. And that can be a deceptive self. It can be a dishonest self. It can be a secretive self. It can be a happy self. It can be a joyful self. You know, it can be many selves, many parts of self that with our family, we express those selves. And this is what I want to share myself. So for sharing myself, I'm giving a message out to everyone else to where it matters, yourself. So that you can look at yourself when you're sitting at home watching TV, when you're in a fight with your partner, when your children is distancing themselves from you. I mean, name the problems we face, there's so many, besides financial, besides uh, physical needs that we are dealing with. You know, if we have inner conflict among each other because of who we are and who the other per people are, then we're never going to get to resolve the physical points that's affecting our life because we're going to constantly be playing a game. And through sharing myself on video, I know I can answer questions, especially if it's live like this one. I can also be more intimate, meaning I can really look at myself and be like, yeah, I have struggled. I understand. I am not perfect. I have problems. I have issues. And the face we give forth isn't always who we are. And that's a very important thing in this time and age to change. We need to start taking off our masks and face ourselves. Look in the mirror and say, who am I? What have I become? What have I accepted and allowed in my life? All this fear, all these insecurities, all these compromises, all these postponements. And we just keep, it's like we just keep living in that. We're just soaking, marinating in it. And that has become our lives for so long. So we need to take off these masks of when we are around other people, where we smile, we're happy, we're a good family member, we're a good friend, we're a good cousin or aunt. You know, we have to take off and be real with ourselves because we are damaging ourselves more than anything else. And therefore we're damaging our families, we're damaging society, we're damaging the earth as we've been so about. So I'm going to be trying to do more live videos in the future where I would like to also take questions from people or, you know, get feedback from people because doing a, a standstill live, uh, sorry, not live, just video on YouTube, uh, usually doesn't bring a lot of participation. It only brings viewers, 10 viewers or 50, which isn't the amount of people I want to reach. I would like to reach anyone, any age, anywhere, any place, any time, and as many as possible. So, yeah, this is a nice room that I found. I like the colors on the wall. I got my new shirt up. It says Rise Up. And it matches the color of the wall at the back. So let's go a little bit deeper into why I make videos. This is where things get serious. This is where people tend to want to turn off the camera because I'm not entertaining. And this is a very big point that I would like to bring across where people only do things because it's entertaining. And I cannot make these videos entertaining. It's impossible. It's literally just a guy sitting and speaking. <laughs> you know, that cannot be entertaining, right? Unless you let go of seeking entertainment and are seeking self-fulfillment, seeking self-knowledge, self-understanding. That is a different kind of level of focusing your attention. 
So this is the one point that I am going to discuss today in this live video, which is called discipline. Discipline is one of the biggest things that I have ever struggled with. Now, if you look at the word discipline, when I used to struggle with English and reading English, I used to read the word discipline as disciple. All right? Disciple is where you are religiously, in a way, doing something and nothing's going to stop you. Nothing's going to keep you from living that out. You are a disciple. You stand by what you stand by, your principle, and nothing can move you. Now, with lacking discipline all my life, I've caused a lot of harm. I've caused a lot of inconsistencies. And I've caused a lot of distrust in people, and especially in myself. I will start something and I'll fail. I will give my all to something and I'll only do it halfway and I'll keep that halfway measurement all the way. And I will also, for example, take on a responsibility where other beings such as animals' lives will depend on me. And in the first week, you're passionate, you enjoy it, you love it. And in the second and third week, you start not doing anything passionate anymore. <laughs> I don't know if you have the experience. And this started getting to me, you know, this has gotten to me a lot because I might have great vision in me. I might see great things that I can do. I might feel great, like I can do great things. But what have I taught myself through lacking discipline is that I cannot do it. I cannot push through it. And this creates a lot of uh, depression, creates a lot of sadness, uh, hardness, being hard on yourself and a lot of stress because you're not getting anywhere. You're not pushing enough. And through this, you will lead to things such as alcohol, you lead to things such as uh, self-abuse where you eat whatever you want without checking what you're eating. You know, self-abuse is in many forms. And you'll start just giving up, sitting around, not doing much, just doing bare minimal. And it actually becomes like a, a challenge for yourself to see how little can you do every day. This is now after a period of years. And... What I've learned with discipline is, okay, if you play with the word, you see, this is the plan, discipline, all right, or this is the line, discipline. So you have to look at what's the plan, and you have to look at where is this plan going. And you have to be able to follow through on the plan from point A to point B. doesn't matter if it takes 10 years, 50 years, or until you die. That's discipline is to live something consistently. But... What have I always tried to be disciplined with? I've tried to discipline myself with imagination, with positive thinking, with motivating myself with energy, with feeling good about what I'm going to do. And how long does good energy last? It doesn't last long. You know, it's like a, a monster drink or a Red Bull drink. You drink it for now, four hours later it's gone and you're tired again. That's the same way that energy works inside of ourselves. If we boost ourselves with positive thinking or motivating ourselves with pictures or movies or music, it will only last so long. And therefore you will fail because you have to either consistently do that, which will make you tired, or you have to develop something very unique. And this is what I have learned through my journey so far in the past nine years that I consistently walked the process of destiny. And guess what? It's called breathing. All right, breathing. So let me explain to you how I have learned to work with breathing. You know, when you feel very depressed, when you feel very sad or unmotivated, you just feel like the world should go to hell. and You just want to sit back and relax. You don't want to do anything. And then you have the other moments where you're excited about life. You want to go out, you want to live life, you want to enjoy life. And you have these two polarities to keep playing out. You know, certain things make you happy, certain things make you very depressed or sad or uh, emotional. And it's always like an up and down, right? Always up and down of positive and negative. And this way we're not going to get anywhere because it's like a boat rocking, right? The boat just getting shaken around on the motions and the emotions. So what is the one thing in between that is always the same? It's breathing. Take a look. No matter what you go through, there's one thing you can trust, and that's your breathing. And this is where I make my point. 
No matter how much you try to motivate yourself to be disciplined within something with positive energy, there will always be negative energy. So you always go up and down. So your discipline within that is already failed. The discipline that we have to develop first and foremost is breathing. Now this is all I'm going to share for today because I would like you to just focus on breathing. All right? Breathing is the first discipline of anything we need to do. You can go watch, for example, sports. You can watch um, like Kung Fu or karate things. The discipline they first teach you is breathing. How to breathe with your movements. Because that's the first discipline you have to master before you can master anything else. Because if you don't master your breathing, there's a lot of inconsistencies. And these inconsistencies will make you dip and rise, dip and rise, and you will therefore never succeed. So, Whenever you feel positive or negative, I would like you to focus on breathing and just see what is your breathing telling you. Regardless of how positive you feel, regardless of how negative you feel, regardless of both polarities giving themselves to you, all right? Focus just on that breathing and see how that changes your perspective, how that changes who you are. And this is the first mm -hmm. discipline we need to always master in our life, is breathing. Without the breathing, there cannot be any other discipline. Then it's, play, then it's playing tennis. You're hitting the ball left and right the whole time and someone's going to lose. Someone's going to fall out. And breathing allows you to be flexible. So no matter what you want to achieve, remember discipline is this is the plan. Breathing is always stable and consistent if you practice that. Do not give in to both emotions or feelings or the thoughts that come up. You just breathe and you know this is the plan and you move according to the plan. And even if there's an obstacle in your way or if there's a challenge in your way, with breath, you can immediately move. There's no emotions, no feelings slapping you through the face and saying you must feel this way, you must be this way. It's you deciding as the breath. Who am I within this? And this way... Your discipline actually becomes like water. Now, if I don't know if you've heard Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee says become like water. So this is the whole point where breath is like you becoming water. So no matter what comes in your way, have you ever seen water stop for anything, give up for anything? No, water keeps moving, it finds a new way as long as it is following the plan. So the plan is the next thing that we must consider. What is the plan in life? What is the plan of life? And I will not cover that today on this video, but that's something to think about for yourself. I have thought about it many times and that's something for yourself. I can share my perspective later on in a different video on what is the plan of life. Is there a plan or is this the plan, the planet? All right, everyone. Thank you very much for watching and thank you for liking and sharing. I hope to do more in the future as these Facebook live hangouts prove themselves to be something cool so please watch from the beginning if you only came on right now and yeah take care everyone keep breathing thank you very much